Hey everybody, it's InnoVision. And lately I've been getting a ton of comments and questions where folks are asking which one's better, Bazite OS or SteamOS? The reality of which, it's not an easy question to answer because a lot of it boils down to personal preference or features that one of these Linux-based gaming operating systems might have over the other. In today's video, I'll be sharing a study I put together to tease out the performance differences between Bazite OS and SteamOS. We'll be benchmarking a couple of games under various TDP settings under both operating systems. And by the end of the video, we'll be discussing future work and directions that I'll be leaning on you as a community to help me drive. Stick around, cause you don't wanna miss any of it. As we get started, I can't express enough my admiration and gratitude I have for both of these operating systems, Bazai OS and SteamOS. Heck, I even believe the Xbox full screen experience is 10 steps forward in the right direction, but at the moment, it's not for me. As gamers, I believe having options is amazing. And the thing that's truly incredible about Bazite, it's completely community driven and community owned. So it's not attached to any companies or any vested interest group other than people who want to make an operating system for gamers by gamers. As far as our test bed is concerned, we're gonna be taking a look at the Talos Principle and Rise of the Tomb Raider. And we're gonna take a look at both these games using the same settings on both operating systems under 15, 20, and 25 watt TDP. I intentionally picked two games that I know that handhelds can run very well. That way we can crank the settings all the way up and start to see any differences between the two operating systems. And more specifically, the Talos Principle, I picked that for selfish reasons. I really like that game. I love puzzle games. And and I just wanted to give exposure to the game and the devs that put it together. If there are any games you all would like me to performance test under SteamOS, Bazite, or Windows, hit me up in the comments section. Let me know the game, let me know the settings you'd like me to use, and I'll be happy to put together a video and another study for it. For my test bed, I'm using the OG Legion Go with the detachable controllers and the Z1 Extreme APU, and I have VRAM set to auto. As time goes on, I'll continue running similar tests on the Legion Go 2, but the reason I chose the Legion Go 1 with the Z1 Extreme APU, it's the console I've spent the most time with and know the kind of performance differences that I've seen between Bazite and SteamOS, and so this study really is a way to have some data to back up the things that I've seen. Now let's take a look at the Talos Principle. We're running at 2560 by 1600, the full resolution of the Legion Go screen, and we're using the very high graphics setting preset. Here we have a graph of the average frames per second under both SteamOS and Bazite OS at 15, 20, and 25 watt TDP settings. The purple bar corresponds to Bazite OS and the blue bar corresponds to SteamOS. What we see here across the board is that SteamOS is generally performing slightly better. More specifically, what we see is anywhere between a 3% to 9% performance benefit to using SteamOS. I also recorded the maximum temperature observed during the benchmark session. Here's a graph of those results. So we've got 15, 20, and 25 watt TDP settings. The purple bar corresponds to Bazai OS CPU temperature. Blue bar corresponds to SteamOS's CPU temperature. The light purple corresponds to Bazai OS's GPU temperature and the light blue bar corresponds to SteamOS's GPU temperature. And here all results are in degrees Celsius and so lower is better. And across the board, we see that SteamOS has slightly better thermals. Looking at these graphs, we can see that SteamOS had upwards of 9% cooler thermals than Bazai OS during these tests. What I like about this test with the Talos principle is that we can quickly see from a very high level that 
there is some inherent performance difference and thermal differences between the two operating systems, but I wanted to drill a little bit deeper. Then I picked up Rise of the Tomb Raider, and this game has a very interesting benchmark because we're benchmarking three different environments. There's one environment where it's like an icy climate. We've got transparencies, we've got fog effects, we've got particle physics for the snow, and then we've got another environment where it's like in a treasure cave and there's a lot of light reflections and high resolution textures. And then lastly, there's an environment where there's a lot of foliage and a lot of trees these three different environments exercise different things in the rendering pipeline for rise of the tomb raider we use 1280 by 800 resolution with integer scaling and the high graphics preset Here we have a graph of our first environment in Rise of the Tomb Raider, the Snowy Mountain Peak. And we're looking at 15, 20, and 25 watt TDP settings. The purple bar is Bazai OS average frames per second. The blue bar is Steam OS average frames per second. The light purple bar is Bazai OS 1% low frames. And the light blue bar is Steam OS 1% low frames. We can see at the lower TDP setting of 15 watts, Steam OS seems to have an advantage. I don't know what's going on with Bazai, it's 1% lows there. It'd be interesting to repeat the test and see if we see the same thing again. And we can see as we crank up the TDP settings, Bazai OS seems to have a slight edge. It's at a quality of service penalty. Look at our 1% low frames. SteamOS is nearly double in terms of the low frames. And so this means that during these type of gameplay sessions, it'll be perceived as stutters. But there's definitely a difference between the two operating systems, even just looking at this first environment. Here's our graph of the next environment, Rise of the Tomb Raider series and this is the environment that is like the cave with the treasure same thing here we've got 15 20 and 25 watt tdps purple is bazite blue is steam os and here we see steam os is performing slightly better across the board both in terms of the average frames per second and the 1% lows. We do see a bigger delta between Bazite and SteamOS at the lower TDP settings at 15 watt tdp SteamOS has a 20% performance benefit but by the time we crank it up to 25 watt TDP, it's only a 3% delta there. But again, the quality of service seems to be more stable under SteamOS. Here's a graph of the benchmark in our last environment in Rise of the Tomb Raider. Again, 15, 20, and 25 watt TDPs. Purple is Bazai OS, blue is SteamOS. This one's interesting. This is the first time in our testing here at the 15 watt TDP, we see that Bazai OS has better quality of service. But across the board, we see SteamOS is still having higher frames per second especially at that lower TDP. And that 25 watt TDP, SteamOS and Bazai are neck and neck. You know, one limitation of this study is that, you know, we're only looking at two games here and to really fill in the gaps, we need to run more tests with more games. What I can see is typically SteamOS has better quality of service or higher 1% low frames. And in most cases, it does seem to have slightly higher frames per second. At the lowest TDP setting here, SteamOS seems to have an 18% performance benefit over Bazai. And here's our graphs of the maximum temperature recorded while benchmarking Rise of the Tomb Raider. And things are getting interesting here again. We see across the board, SteamOS has slightly better thermals. At our highest TDP setting, here, the CPU temperature is 9% cooler under SteamOS. Wow. So those were not the results I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more of a wash, more like Bazite and Steam would be neck and neck. And maybe over time that might be the case, but there is something inherently different about SteamOS. What were you all expecting? 
Hit me up in the comment section, let me know. Also drop a comment if there's a particular game or game settings you'd like performance tested under any of these operating systems, even Windows, let me know. There you have it. In today's video, we took a first look at quantifying performance differences between Bazai OS and SteamOS. The results were not what I was expecting. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, that way you don't miss all the amazing toys and gaming tips we've got coming down the pipeline. If you're enjoying my how-to guides and handheld related content, be sure to like the video and subscribe. That way you get that notification as soon as a new video comes out.